Hello, and welcome to the Center for Communication Excellence at Iowa State University Graduate College. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to format tables properly when they extend beyond a single page in your thesis or dissertation. Tables are crucial in academic writing as they help in presenting dense information in a structured and easy-to-read manner. Sometimes, you might find yourself dealing with a table that's too long to fit on one page. This is a common scenario in academic documents, especially theses and dissertations. When this happens, it's important to format your table correctly to meet the requirements of your institution. For instance, the Iowa State Graduate College mandates that tables spanning multiple pages should have a table number continued caption at the top of each subsequent page, and the header row must be repeated on each additional page. Now, let's go through the procedure of splitting a table and formatting it according to these guidelines in Microsoft Word. Start by placing your cursor in the first cell of the first row that appears on the second page of your table. Now, click the Layout tab in the ribbon and select Split Table. This will divide your table into two separate tables. Next, type Table Number Continued at the top of the second page. If you notice the text appearing at the bottom of the preceding page, select it and change the paragraph, line, and page breaks attribute to keep with Next. Now, insert a new row at the top of your second table. Go back to your original table. Copy the header row and paste it into the blank row you just created. It is crucial to ensure that your table is accessible to all readers. Please watch our video on making tables accessible in Microsoft Word for detailed instructions on how to tag the header row and the first column in the Table Design ribbon. This is an essential step in creating inclusive academic documents. If your table spans more than two pages, Remember to repeat this procedure for each additional page. As a final tip, only split your tables after your document's content is finalized and all other pagination edits are complete. For very long tables, consider submitting them as supplemental files rather than integrating them into your main manuscript. And that's it. You have successfully formatted your multi-page table. If you need further assistance, Remember there are plenty of resources and support available to you, including the CCE's individual consultations and many thesis and dissertation formatting resources. Thank you for watching.